that data, right? Those fired pixels, right? Or events, rather, those fired events. And I can go ahead and actually create a look alike audience. What's going on, fam? Eric Ellis here. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Facebook pixel on your ClickFunnels sales funnel. The reason why I'm showing you how to do this is because it is extremely important for you to set up your pickle pixel for two different reasons. Or actually, let me just talk about all the good reasons of setting up a pixel. Number one is setting up a uh, conversion pixel, uh, or excuse me, a campaign objective. If you're picking the co conversion objective, let's just say it's a purchase or it's a lead or whatever, whatever your conversion objective is, you're going to need your Facebook pixel on your actual funnel. So that way when it fires off uh, and somebody goes to that specific step, let's just say, for example, a lead uh, objective to generate leads, when it fires off, it can go ahead and actually then trigger to Facebook and show that, okay, cool, your pixel has went off because your pixel has went off, um, that result that you were trying to acquire has happened, right? So we can go ahead and basically kind of communicate. Now, what is a pixel? It's exactly what it sounds like. It's a small little piece of code on your actual web page that you're installing. So that way, when somebody lands on that page, it'll fire off that pixel and then it'll actually communicate to Facebook, right? Now, um, another reason why you wanna go ahead and actually set up the Facebook pixels is because when you set up the Facebook pixel, you're going to be able to do retargeting campaigns so whenever somebody goes to a specific page within your funnel and then doesn't fire off an additional page it'll then go ahead and start populating an audience and you can start retargeting those individuals for example let's just say two different uh facebook pixels number one is the page view pixel which is the main pixel number two is a lead generation pixel which will install on the second page meaning if somebody goes to your landing page then they go to the second page and they fire off that that pixel they obviously have became a lead right now let's just say they go to your uh, uh to the view page pixel right your first your landing page but they don't fire off that second page i can then go ahead and create an audience of people showing okay you went to the first step but you didn't go to the second step and facebook shows me that because it just shows that the pixel hasn't been fired so I can then hit them with a retargeting ad to get them to take that specific objective. So if they didn't become a lead, I can hit them with a retargeting ad to make them a lead. And they're gonna be more of a warm audience. Number three is you can go ahead and actually create custom audiences. So for example, uh, let's just say I generate uh, 100 to 300 leads. Now I can actually use that data, that Facebook, right? Um, let's just say I'm just using a regular interest. Let's just say, uh, my niche is uh, golf and my uh, my interest that I'm using for my targeting is Tiger Woods, right? Instead of using Tiger Woods now, I can actually, uh, the people who have gotten my free uh, golf lead magnet and has gone to the next step, and in that next step, uh, they became a lead, right? They're more qualified than just, uh, like these are people who are actually becoming leads, my specific objective. So I can then go ahead, instead of using uh, Tiger Woods as my uh, target audience, I could then just go ahead, okay, these people are obviously interested in golf, but more importantly about interested in golf, they're interested in what I'm offering because they became a lead. They decide uh, they were curious enough to go to that next step. So what I can do is I can go ahead and actually leverage that data, right? Those fired, pic those, uh, those fired pixels, right? Or events, rather, those fired events. And I can go ahead and actually create a look-alike audience, right? So uh, with that being said, I can go ahead and say, hey, Facebook, find one to three million people that have the same similarities and traits that these people uh, have that have became a lead, right? So age, demographic, likes, interest, the type of pages that they look. Uh, Facebook is a lot smarter than you uh, and uh, when it comes to this advertising and stuff. So with that being said, just let them do all the work. You can go ahead and actually leverage that data later on to run different marketing campaigns. Number four is whenever you're running free traffic, right, free traffic, you can also just gather data that you can leverage for your marketing in the future, right? So if I want to create look like audiences, custom audiences, so on and so forth, retargeting ads. And number five um, is you can go ahead and make data-driven decisions. So if I notice that my earnings per lead are $20, right? Every time I generate a lead, I make $20. 
Now, all I have to do is look at the Facebook platform and see, okay, cool, I'm getting leads for $5, I'm running a profitable campaign. Or if I need to generate purchases for less than, or excuse me, if I know every time I generate a customer, that customer is worth $100, right? I can look at the data in the back office because I have that pixel set up on the, on the purchase page, the order page, and the thank you page. After they go to the order page and they go to the next step and it fires off that they purchased because they uh, hopped on the landing page, then what I can do is I can go ahead and actually show that they've actually became a purchase and it'll show me how much at advertisement dollars I spent to acquire that customer. So let's just say every customer I generate is worth $100 and I generate the customer for $30. I know I made $70 in profit. So with that being said, those that's basically what the pixel is. That's the different ways we're gonna go to and actually use the pixel. Obviously there's more, but those are like the core uh, reasons. And now we're gonna go to and actually show you how to set it up. So. Boom, let's step behind the laptop. Now, the first thing that I wanna do uh, is I'm gonna go to show you the type of funnel that I'm, that I'm going to be setting it up with. So I'm going to be setting it up with an application funnel. Now, there's different types of funnels, there's different types of pages, there's websites, funnels, so on and so forth. I'm specifically doing it with an application funnel. So there's a couple steps, right? The first step is the actual landing page. The second step is after they become a lead, they're gonna be going to the actual video sales letter or the webinar or whatever the presentation the next step is the actual application so the application is the uh them after they watch the actual uh sales video and they click the button and they go to the application that they apply right to set up a coaching call or a strategy call then after they go ahead and fill out the application they'll go to a scheduler and then once they go to the scheduler the next step is they're going to go ahead and actually uh, schedule. And then once they schedule their call, boom, they're on the book page, right? So it's extremely important to identify which uh, events make the most sense to actually trigger and fire off when people get to these specific page. So what I did first, as far as research, before I actually even uh, set up my pixel, right, is I found out each individual page and which event I was going to go ahead and put on them. Now the first one that I know for sure is the second page, right? As soon as somebody opts in and puts their in their email, I created them as a lead pixel, right? So that's pretty apparent, that's obvious, but what should we put as the additional steps in the funnel? So depending on your actual funnel or your layout or your build out, whatever that looks like, will depend the type of actual action you're gonna go ahead and put on. Now, for example, uh, let's go to uh, business manager. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to business.facebook.com, then we're gonna go to the business manager, and we're gonna go to all tools and then we're gonna go to event manager pixels. You're gonna have to go to the actual ad count that you're gonna be using. So here we go. So it's a new pixel, that's why it doesn't have that much data. But what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go to details, right? So this is the actual pixel. You can either click here or you can click details. And when you click the actual pixel that you wanna go to set up, by the way, let me actually go back here. If um, if there is no pixel, there's gonna be the option down here. To, there's gonna be like a green button that'll teach you how to set up a pixel, right? If you already have a pixel, you're gonna go to click your pixel. Once you click your pixel, um, I'm gonna go ahead and there's going to be an option at the top right to set up the pixel. Now I'm gonna go ahead and press install pixel and I'm gonna go ahead and manually install it myself. Now the first thing you're gonna do is copy the entire pixel code and paste it to your website header. So in ClickFunnels, that would be considered the setting in the actual funnel. And then it says head tracking code. I'm gonna go ahead and then paste this code. I'm gonna to scroll to the bottom, I'm gonna save, I'm gonna to go to update settings. Next, right, is now it's time to actually put in events. So after that is complete, I'm gonna go ahead and press continue. And then I'm gonna to go to use Facebook event setup tool, right? Um, or excuse me, I'm gonna go to manually install event code. Now, um, over here, I already did the research and the due diligence. So what you wanna do is you wanna look at these different options. And once you look at these different options, you wanna figure out which are the right methods to actually set up on your specific funnel, right? Now for my funnel, it's an application funnel. For the uh, first one, I did page view, which simply by putting uh, the code on the header will automatically fire off a page view pixel every time somebody lands on that page. 
right? Now it's time to actually put the event codes on the back end of the funnel. So as somebody goes to the app, uh, application BSL, that means they became a lead. They went to the second step, they put in their email to get access to that sales video. Now, after they actually click the button to get to the application, I'm just gonna go in and simply create view content because I didn't get any contact information, I didn't get any purchases, I didn't get any, uh, I didn't get anything special. It's literally, okay, they go to the application page, they're just viewing content, right? Uh, but I do wanna go ahead and actually still fire off Pixel. Now, next is um, the schedule, right? So uh, basically there's an option, right? If we go over here, schedule, the booking of an appointment to visit one of your locations. So, uh, or excuse me, wrong one, contact. So uh, contact is a telephone, SMS, email, chat, or other type of contact between a customer or business. I may either uh, set it up as, so I'm trying to figure out, cause I don't wanna actually do a contact, contact, is it email, chat, or other type of contact between a customer or a business? Um, I'm trying to figure out which one I want to do for the actual, uh, once they get to the schedule page. So after they filled out the application, right, I might actually do complete registration again. Uh, we'll see. And then last but not least is the actual, uh, once they get to the book page, right? So once they schedule their appointment, I'm going to go ahead and uh, create it as a schedule, right? The booking of an appointment to visit one of your locations. So let's actually get started um, on the beginning of the funnel. So the first one is going to be, um, I want to go to complete registration and then um, the conversion value, I'm gonna put $0, I'm just gonna keep like that. I'm gonna copy right here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to the application uh, VSL and I'm gonna press edit page. And then I'm gonna to go to settings. I'm gonna to go to tracking code. Now guys, to be honest with you, you can actually put it in your heading code or your footer code. The reason why I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the header is because the header is the top of the code, right? It's the first thing to load. The footer is at the bottom, right? So what happens is if you put it at the footer, sometimes it'll take a while for your actual, uh, your, la your landing page to um, follow. Uh, to actually load and if you wait till it uh, till it loads to the very end Sometimes they may have left your page before it actually had a chance to fire So you have more of a chance of your code actually firing off if you put it in the header because you're putting it at the top of the actual uh, page So um, complete registration and I'm gonna press save Simple and then I'm gonna show you guys in a second how we're gonna go ahead and actually test that and then I'm gonna to go to application. And once I go to application, we're gonna to go to view content. So I'm going to close that parameter. We're gonna to go to view content. No specific value. I'm gonna to go to Tracking code, header, paste, save. I'm gonna go back. And then next is schedule. So this one, I haven't really figured out which one I actually wanna put, cause this is after they become came an application. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do complete registration and then conversion value. I'm just gonna put Mmm, I don't want to do this because I don't start a paid subscription or service offer. Complete registration, contact. I'm just going to put contact like I originally put. Um, edit. Go to tracking code, contact, save. And then last but not least is schedule. It's 
So I'm gonna put that on the booked page because that means they've actually like scheduled a call. And if I go to tracking code, schedule, save. Now, what we're gonna do is there is a Google plugin called Facebook Pixel Helper, right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to Facebook Pixel Helper, you're gonna download that plugin, and this is it right here, right? So no pixels found on this page. Now, if I start testing these pages to make sure I set it up right, I'm gonna go to Inner Circle, so I'm gonna go to, um, sure, I'll just put up this one right here. So preview, application, funnel, or excuse me, the sales video, sales page. Or actually, I'm not sure if I go to the preview if it's gonna go to show up. Let me see if it's showing up. And then application, and we're gonna go to preview page, schedule, and then booked. All right, so we're gonna start with the first page, right? Now, on my actual landing page, the two that show up is for page view, right? So remember I told you guys, whenever you guys set up the general pixel code, it's naturally gonna go ahead and fire off as a page view, right? Now, if I go to my sales page remember i installed the complete registration which is basically a lead so whenever i want to go ahead and uh, create a campaign to generate leads a conversions campaign i'm going to go ahead and actually uh and put the specific code when i'm creating these campaigns but first i have to set it up so let's actually see if it's set up so we have the page view the reason why the page view is on this page as well is because the page view is set up um on the whole funnel because uh, originally when we first set up the funnel, just to show you guys really quick, in the settings, we put in the settings and then we put in the header code. So the header code on the whole funnel. So it's gonna go ahead and show up in the picture helper. We're gonna go ahead and um, look at the page view, complete registration. And then if we go to, uh, oh, by the way, I forgot, to, uh, I know I said it, but I wasn't really there when I was reading it. So complete registration. So it'll fire off that event code. Next is, the actual application. So we did view content with this one. So page view, view content, the pixel. Guys, you can't see the pixel anywhere. There's a small piece of pixel somewhere on this page that is going to fire off. So I'm literally firing off the pixel. So as you're running ads, or even if, let's just say I'm running Google ads to this page, right? Because I have this pixel set up, or if you're running free traffic from a blog or YouTube, it doesn't matter where the traffic is coming from, Facebook is gathering this data. So not only are you going to be able to make the, the, the data a lot smarter as people start going through your funnel through any traffic campaign, right? Because if they're going through Google ads, uh, Facebook ads, YouTube ads, free YouTube traffic, free blogging traffic, it's picking up all this data of your ideal customers, your, your ideal people who are gonna go and become a lead, your ideal people who are gonna become whatever your events that you're firing off, right? So you can leverage this data with the Facebook advertising platform. That's how powerful up, up. That's how powerful the Facebook pixel is. And um, also, uh, you're going to be able to do retargeting campaigns. So let's just say you just have like a whole bunch of people, you set it up on a website and you have a whole bunch of people visiting this one page, right? Through organic traffic, you can then run a retargeting campaign to that warm traffic. They were literally interested. They visited your website without you running an ad to them. Now you can say, hey, you forgot to make this purchase or you forgot to go to this next step. Check this out, right? So for example, let's just say people are going to this page, this view content. I can actually run a retargeting campaign to anybody who has gotten to this page. So let's just say people are going to this page with Facebook ads. I can say, hey, you forgot to uh, book your call. Book your call. And then I can go ahead and actually redirect them to this page. Pretty awesome retargeting campaign. Uh, that's getting a little bit uh, in depth, but... Um, here's another page, here's my actual uh, application page. So we have page view and then we have contact. So we're gonna be firing off a contact. They become a contact. They decided to actually fill out the application, go to the next step. And then last but not least, um, if we go to here, we have the page view, which is gonna be on every single one. And then schedule, so meaning they scheduled an actual appointment. They scheduled a booking, right? They booked a call with me and my team. 
Now, what you want to do is once you do that, if you go to um, events, see if they're here yet. So it says last received nine minutes ago, so it might not have picked it up because um, I don't see those those extra actions. So I'm gonna go back to data sources. I'm gonna go to Bulls Academy Pixel. Um, I can go to okay, none of these right now. So no recent activity, no recent activity, no recent activity. So if I go to events. I'll look at that stuff later, but basically the way you can also cross-reference it is actually looking at your data on the back end. So yes, um, it's set up. Yes, the pixels are set up. I use my fix, uh, pixel, Facebook pixel helper to identify that they are set up correctly. Then the next step is you'll want to go through your actual funnel and look at the actual data on the back end to make sure that your actual events are fired off. And then the next step is actually leveraging this Facebook pixel with your uh, marketing campaigns, doing different campaign objectives, doing different retargeting campaigns, creating custom audiences, so on and so forth, having a whole bunch of fun. Guys, that is how, uh, that is what the Facebook pixel is and that is how you set it up. So if you like that video, go ahead and give me a big fat thumbs up and show your boys some love. Like hit that thumbs up like right now. Like seriously, hit it. Now with that being said, if you guys haven't already joined the family, hit the subscribers button and hit the notifications bell to get notified every time I drop some new heat about affiliate marketing, marketing, Facebook advertising, so on and so forth. Now, with that being said, if you've been struggling to do Facebook ads and you guys want to learn how to do Facebook ads and funnels, and if you don't have a product and you guys want to learn how you guys can actually promote other people's products and make a full-time job quitting income online and that resonated with you to where you're like damn man that kind of resonated with me i don't want to work a job i feel overworked and under uh overworked and underpaid or so on and so forth right if that's you or if you've been struggling with affiliate marketing click the link down below there's going to be a free training to show you how you can potentially work with myself and my team and how we can expedite your success process you deserve to succeed you deserve to win. You deserve not to struggle anymore. It's your time. Take action. Click the link down below. As always, Eric Ellis, checking out. I will see you on the next video. First and foremost, I want to say thank you for watching this video. If you like this video and want me to make more like it, make sure to smash that like button. Also, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to join the fam and click that notification bell to be notified every time I drop some new heat. Lastly, if you're tired of working a job, if you wanna freaking fire that boss, live life on your terms, and never have to work a nine to five ever again, click the first link in the description to learn the best way to make money online right now. Until next time, Eric Ellis, The Wolf of Marketing, checking.